Here's how you can quickly and easily create custom alpha brushes inside Blender. First, let's sacrifice our default cube to the Blender Gods. Then we'll press Shift A, we'll add a mesh, and we're gonna choose UV Sphere. Uh, we'll right click, shade it smooth, and currently we have 960 triangles. Uh, to be able to sculpt effectively, you need at least a few hundred thousand tries. So what we can do is come to our spanner or modifier stack, we'll add a modifier, and then under generate, I'm gonna add a multi-resolution modifier. I'm then gonna subdivide a few times here to increase my geometry count. And currently I'm sitting a little over a million, and I think that'll work perfect for this example. Now let's come to the sculpting tab. And if I draw around, you'll see we can sculpt pretty smoothly. I'll control Z to undo that. Uh, to create our first alpha brush, uh, you can select any brush on the left-hand side. And then in the re uh, right-hand details panel under tool, you just have to click this little icon here to add a brush. And then we'll give it a name, I'll custom brush. And then I'm gonna come down to the texture settings. We'll create a new texture. And then I'm gonna select open. And then I simply have to browse to where I stored my texture. Uh, in this example, let's go ahead and maybe use rock and cracks number 45. And we can see uh, I can now start drawing and it creates a tiled version of that alpha brush. So let's undo that. If you need to adjust your size, you can press F for the brush size. You can also press Shift F to adjust the strength. And then we can actually start making adjustments to the texture mapping. So if we select texture at the top, currently we're using tiled. Uh, let's try maybe stencil. And then it creates this image here. You can right click to drag this image anywhere you need it to be. And then you can hold the shift key and then right click again to adjust the size of the image. If you hold control and right click, you can adjust the rotation. Now, once you have the stencil where you want it, if you click anywhere uh, in the scene, it won't draw until you come over the actual stencil, like so. Now, if you simply left click, it'll do, it'll pull out the uh, mesh, but if you hold the control key, it'll inverse that and then it'll actually dig into the mesh. So you can see that there. Now that was the stencil. Uh, let's go ahead and see what anchor looks like. So we can switch the brush, or I'm sorry, the texture from stencil. Uh, you can use random, tiled, I prefer area plane. I think it works really well for this. And then under stroke, we're gonna set it from space to be anchored. And then I'm gonna hold control and I can drag out and create a few interesting overlaps here and create an interesting shape. And just like that, you've created an alpha brush to take your blender sculptures to the next level.